Listen. All right, report. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. All right, well, Kodak Black was on with Speedy Mormon on Spotify's Rap Caviar, and one thing that he talked about was his bond with Kendrick Lamar. It's not just about music. Here's what he had to say. Me and Kendrick, we got a lot of little things in common that people probably won't understand. And he understand me beyond and what the internet theories. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like he got a different perception of me. He ain't count. Like, he say we gonna do something, we do it. No, Kendrick from the streets for real, too. Oh, f that boy. I got a lot of love for him. He put me on game. He genuinely wanna see a nigga win for sure. And I appreciate him for trusting me with his, with his album. Cause he ain't gotta do none of that. I love that parent. And, you know, uh, mm -hmm. me and Lil Duval, we always talk about, you know, how Kodak Black lyrically, is 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 there with Kendrick? You know mm -hmm. what I mean. I know people. That sounds crazy to say, but if you listen to Kodak, he says a lot of things of socially redeeming value, just like Kendrick does. They just got two different approaches. They're like the yin and the yang of 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 right. of street of street rap. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, I just yeah, I know people don't look at Kendrick as saying street rap, but he does represent that good kid from the Mad City, like he like he's always told us. So I, I love that parent. I love them together. All right, now let's talk about Vic Mensa. Congratulations to him. He has his new cannabis company. It's called 93 Boys. It'll be the first black-owned cannabis company in the state of Illinois. Oh, wow. So congratulations to him. He said the brand's mission is to reinvest in the communities and individuals that have been historically and disproportionately affected by outdated laws, prejudices, and assumptions regarding cannabis consumption. Vic Mensa wrote in the release, Selling Weed was my first hustle. It taught me work ethic, entrepreneurship, and funded all of my first music projects. As someone with a lifelong experience of anxiety and depression, it's amazing to be able to help people facing those and other issues while working with something I love. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad he got his license, and I'm, I'm glad he's going to give so many people jobs, so that's a great thing for Chicago. And I love the fact that he's looking at uh, plant-based medicine from that perspective, because that's the, that's the reason I, I do my indigo for my anxiety. Mm -hmm. All right, <clears throat> and the headline on Forbes says, Rapper Vic Mensa launches his own cannabis brand. Before I ever sold a rap, I sold an eighth. <laughs> wow. All right, Megan Thee Stallion, shout out to her as she is gearing up for her release. And she dropped a new freestyle for L.A. Leakers. Here she is, rapping over Regulate. All right. She said her label hates her, and her stuff always leaks uh, on Instagram as well. So she said, at this point, invite the hotties to the studio and shoot. And she added on Twitter, why continue to choose peace when everyone else choosing violence? Mm. You guys, I mean, she's been going through it. She has been. And she also did share a dramatic funeral teaser for her trauma zine, according to Hot New Hip Hop. She said it's almost that time. And so, shout out to her, Traumazine. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report. All right, thank you, Miss Yee. Let's get to the People's Choice Mix, 800-585-1051. Don't move, it's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.